Parking restriction signs have come down and the parking lots are already starting to fill up here at Manatee County beaches. Plenty of people looking to spend a full day at the beach and now that there's no two hour time limit or any capacity restrictions on the parking lot, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. Some beach cities though still will have right of way parking restrictions in place. So look out for those if you're visiting Coquina or Bradenton Beach. Just be sure to double check before you leave your car to make sure that you are legally parked. Meanwhile, in Sarasota, things got pretty heated last night as city commissioners debated reopening Lido Beach. Respectfully, Commissioner Brody, you can't speak for what the data is because you don't have it either. And so okay, I understand. But I don't know what. Hold on, hold on. Question. Some commissioners argued that the businesses, especially those in St. Armand Circle, depend on Lido Beach being open. But others said they don't see enough data at this point to support easing restrictions. There are people that are trying to open and follow the, the governor's guidelines. And with the beach closed, they have no customers out there. You do not want to see a St. Armand Circle with plywood over every other window. Our city is about 12.5% of the county, yet um, we have about 30%, it varies a little up, a little down, of the cases. So that's a disproportionate amount. And so I'm looking after the, the, the fact that our city is a hot spot. I would rather that we err on the side of caution. And in a 3-2 vote, commissioners there decided to go ahead and keep Lido Beach closed for at least another week. And even though parking at the beach just got a whole lot easier here in Manatee County, you still will need to practice safe social distancing and no big crowds allowed out on the beaches either. In Cortez Beach, Kelly Cowan, Fox 13 News.